Hello, I saw this question and I decided to share it with you, my subscribers and my friends. Welcome back to my channel. Today we have two circles. Please, this is supposed to be a circle. So this, let's assume they are circles. So we have two circles and we are told that this is the center of circle, the first circle. This is the center of the second circle, all right? So AC is two. So this place is two. BD is five. Now AB is 10. The whole of this place is 10. Now we are asked to find CD. We are going to solve this using two methods. Okay, so let's start. The first method. First method. We are going to draw a line that is parallel to CD. Okay, from A, let's draw a line parallel to CD. I'm not going to draw this using any equipment, so it's going to be a sketch. So let's assume this is a line parallel to CD. This. Okay. All right. Now, if we complete this, let's call this place F. So now we have C, D, and A, F. And you will agree with me that since this line is parallel to this, this line is parallel to this, right? So A, C is equal to D, F. That is, this place should be equal to this place, right? which is equal to two units. Also, CD should be equal to AF, which is what we are looking for. So that simply means that if we are able to get our AF, then we have gotten our CD. Now, remember that this, since this is parallel to this and this is parallel to this then this is definitely a right angle all right so let's draw right angle a b f a f b so angle a f b is what right angle right angled triangle now shall we draw that out so this is my AB, this is AF, so this is A, this is F, this is B, so we have BF. This is right angle, and um, AB is 10, right? BF is what? Remember that this place is 2, right? So BF plus BD should be equal to BF, right? DF, sorry, DF. DF plus BF. <coughs> DF plus BD should be equal to BF. Now, our DF is 2. Our BD is 5. So it simply means that BF is 7. So I'm going to write 7 here. Now we have AF. Let's call it X. Okay. Using the Pythagorean theorem. All right. I think for now we don't need this, right? Let's just clean everything so that I will have space to solve my equation. So this is what is important now. Now, remember that AB squared is equal to BF squared plus AF squared using Pythagorean theorem. Pythagorean theorem. If this is the first time you have seen this amazing channel, please click the subscription button, turn on your notification bell, so that you don't miss our videos, alright? We upload our videos as much as we can, 
so tune in at your convenience there must be something new for you to watch by the grace of god and give us a thumbs up if you're actually enjoying this video thank you all right so that means a b squared which happens to be 10 right is equal to bf squared that is 7 squared plus af squared which is x squared so if we solve for that we have let's subtract 7 squared from both sides so if we do that we have 10 squared minus 7 squared is equal to 7 squared minus 7 squared plus x squared now 10 squared minus 7 squared remember uh um remember um difference of two squares now according to difference of two squares it states that a squared minus b squared is equal to a minus b multiplied by a plus b now let's apply that here so this will be 10 minus 7 multiplied by 10 plus 7 is equal to x squared because 7 squared minus 7 squared will give us 0. Now 10 minus 7 will give us 3 and 10 plus 7 will give us 17 is equal to x squared. So let's solve for that. 3 times 7 is 21. We'll write 1 and carry 2. 3 times 1 is 3 plus 2 is 5. So we have 51 is equal to x squared. So if we take square of both sides, this implies that x will be square root of 51, which will be equal to... Now let's find square root of 51. Let's do that using our calculator because it's going to be in decimal. So square root of 51 is approximately 7.14, okay, is approximately 7.14 units. And remember that our x is AF, which is equal to C, sorry, yes, which is equal to CD, which is what we are looking for. So it simply means that length CD is equal to 7.14 units okay then tune in for the next my second topic okay because this video is already too long thanks so much for watching see you in my next video